Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates and today I'm going to go over a sample demonstration of how to use the sold item statistics tracking worksheet so that you can track which states the volume of sales going to which states online and you can also track you're also going to be able to track which items sold at which price to see your totals as well as which categories of items are are doing the best and so whether you sell jewelry online and you want to see what's selling more your necklace bracelets earrings or your sets any business has different product product lines that you might want to know which ones are doing better. So the, that's the kind of data that we're going to get down to in this example. And this is set up to work so that you're not having to do a very minimal data entry. I have other videos that go over how to download your Etsy CSV, which you can copy and paste into the template. And there is also a plugin for WooCommerce if you have a WordPress WooCommerce website where you can download your order information and that plugin is called Order Export Pro and I have another video that goes over how to um, get your information from there and that's a free plugin there is a paid option I believe but this template works with the free version so after you download that you'll copy and paste those into the template. There's also an option to manually enter sales that happen outside of those sources as well as a PayPal download. So with this example I've already pasted in my information that I've downloaded from Etsy and WooCommerce um, but when you get the template it does come with uh, PDF directions and also link to I'll do some other videos as well that show how to download your information from those sites and how to copy and paste that into the template. So, but for the sake of this video, I already had it pasted in, but just wanted you to know that when you get the template, there are directions on how to do that. So first off, you're going to need to enter, decide on and enter your categories in the category summary page. And, um, you have 20, spaces to enter any um, anything that you want to track per per item category so I've already entered these for the example going through this I'm going to then assign the category so Airbnb is a rental template and then you just um, highlight at the corner and drag it down to the cells that it applies to and then the next one in the end I think it will help to see where your sales are coming from so I'm gonna go through this here uh, you can also just copy and paste to a whole set then we've got custom it has to be spelled exactly the same that's why there's a drop-down list um, so that everything will link correctly. Okay, so after you follow those steps and you paste your sales data into the Etsy, WooCommerce, PayPal, or the other one where you can enter it manually, after those items are assigned to the categories that you um, originally enter here, everything is automatically going to link and pull in your total sales and total quantity sold per category. And these categories can be anything that you want to track with your orders. So in this example, I have it summarized by necklace, bracelets, earrings, matching sets, custom orders. Really, you have a lot of flexibility and you're also seeing the grand totals here and then the totals per uh, venue. So in addition to um, this category summary page, you're also going to get some charts that also will automatically update after those categories have been assigned. And so you'll see that these charts are already set up 
just to give you more of a visual on the total sales per category. And let's see, total sales per venue, Etsy, WooCommerce, other, and also a nice little chart to show that information. And let's see, this one is gonna be sales per category and venue. So necklaces, you can see, did better on uh, Etsy than on the website and, you know, custom orders is all through the website, that sort of thing. So I have two different pages for the charts though because 20 categories is quite a lot. I don't know if everybody will need that many categories. These charts are just gonna show 10 categories. If you do use all 20 categories, then you'll wanna check on this chart. It's just that it takes up more space because yeah, with the 20, it'll show you know 20 spots. So you may not even need that many categories to track. So that is what is included with the category summary, and that can be brought separately or in combination with the state sales summary. So if you only wanna use the state summary, you don't even have to categorize the items that are sold. Um, the information will populate um, in the state sales summary page and in this page. You will need to do a data and refresh all uh, right here, anytime new information is added or anytime you paste information in, you'll need to refresh it in order for everything to update. After that, the states are already listed out here and your information will just get summarized so you can see your total sales, sales per state. You can always check it in the tables page. You can also change this filter. I have it set for United States if you want to you know, review sales made to another country, you can change that filter to see the information for that. And as you scroll, um, you know, it's for Etsy, WooCommerce, PayPal, and also the other entries. So you can find this template at timesavingtemplates.com and look in the small business a template section and also don't forget to check out the free resources and free templates that I have available for you at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and until next time don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheet templates.